So let's do some troubleshooting, also known as what to do when things go wrong and where to look to check stuff. So supposing we uh, place a Word document into our InDesign file. So here we have the table that we're going to apply our style to that we've already made. So we select the table from the inside and we click the table style and we even check our cell style palette that shows a plus here. So we click clear overrides. But why doesn't it look like this? We've got some colors happening, but the text is all wrong. It's not picking up the styles that we specified in here. So what did we miss? Well, there's a couple of steps that we forgot to do that I like to do first before applying table styles. Um, but in this case, we've already done it. So let's not go back and let's see how we can fix it from here. So let's select our table again. And these two palettes look okay. There's no pluses showing here, but let's check out our paragraph style palette. Now we've got this normal thing with this little icon that comes in with the Word file. I, we have to get rid of that. And let's replace it with basic. And also click the clear overrides because there's a plus with basic. And then most importantly, let's check the character style palette, which is often hiding. And you see there's a character style that came in with the word text, and that's affecting what we have here. So let's click None. Check the paragraph style. It looks okay. This looks okay. Here we've got a plus next to the cell style, so let's click Override. And there we're on our way to getting the tables to match up what we want. We continue as before when we convert the header row and change the height and the width of the columns and all that stuff we did before.